because this dragon fight was, like, later. After the, doing the bone pit again. I was not expecting it right now. guy already. Oh man, why can't I do that when I'm playing? Quest updated Mine Massacre. Wait. Who the what now? Return to Hubert in... Did I? <gasps> what? I guess I picked that quest up and didn't notice. Huh? I didn't even know that was a thing. I just want to check something real quick. Year seven. Shit. I am not doing a whole nother playthrough just to get Isabella back. Screw her anyway.
Hang on a second. I am gonna go back to my house. Ooh. Ah, you've returned. Meryl. Everything's quiet here in the mansion. Is this for me? It's beautiful. Do you know what it is? I only know that it was made by the Dalish. It's Sylvanwood, rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal, the dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world. Start at the beginning. What happened to the gods? Long ago, there were two clans of gods. The creators looked after the people. The forgotten ones preyed upon us. And one god who was neither. Fan Harrow, the dread wolf. He was kin to the creators, and in the old days often helped them in their endless war against the forgotten ones. Why were they fighting? No one knows. We barely even remember all their names, let alone who struck the first blow. Who was wrong? Van Harrel was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the creators it was forged in the heavens, and the forgotten ones that it was hidden in the abyss. And when the gods went seeking it, he sealed them both in their realms forever. Now he alone is left in the world. I imagine the Dalish don't depict the doom of their gods just for decoration. Not exactly, no. This was made for a keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the Dread Wolf is a keeper's place. It's a very sweet memento, thank you. Neat. <laughs> Gotta go check and see if there's anything cool in here now. Dousing rods, no refunds. <laughs> Emergent compendium. How was that all about? Blade of a thousand battles. Desdemona's The Maker's Kiss. 152 gold. Oh, robes of the champion. Spiff. Robes of unblemished cleanliness. Wow, those are pretty nice. Oh, 
<laughs> My bad. Okay. Oh. Robes of the Champion. Ooh -wee! That is just the coolest outfit. Ring of the Emerald Knights. See, that's just a lot of resist. A big old bonkin' stick. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Yes! <laughs> 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 Thank you for the follow, Sunset Moon. I appreciate it. <sighs> well, if I was asleep, I'm awake now. <laughs> Appreciate the follow, man. That was great. Ugh. Mm. All right. Let's get back on the road. <sighs> oh, that's right. I need to enchant my gear. I need to put runes on my gear. Again, 
Good to see you too. Spirit damage. Electricity damage. Let's do spirit damage. Oh. Well, you know what? I don't have her daggers. She has her daggers. What? Threads of the Eastern Seas. She saw something nasty in the woodshed. It's so bizarre how out of nowhere Sandal starts talking. Um, herbalist tasks. Hmm. Gah, I really, I'm gonna go get that quest because he might send me to get something where I'm already going. <laughs> Volcanic shield. Yes? Is it like you thought? It's nice, isn't it? He seems nice. <laughs> yes, he's very nice. I know, and you're so cute when you're with him. Not like normal you at all. Haven't you got something unholy to do? <laughs> no, we're following Hawk. That's important too. <laughs> Rune of Striking. Crit chance. That's new. Okay. Taking my awesome tastic robes. My awesome tastic spiky gloves. Welcome back, my friend. My store has never been better stocked thanks to you. Although I have nothing else to ask you to find, you're quite welcome to bring back any rare specimens you may come across. I'd be more than happy to craft something just for you. It's the least I can do for the champion of Kirkwall. You're damn right. What? Oh, fine. I'll buy it so I don't have to so good to see you, champion. Why does the night go And not to permit us to sell everything. So much is restricted. Nope, not going there. Well, why did it say there was an herbalist's, herbalist's tasks? Did I get something? That's stupid. Fool. Aveline. When what? In the end. It feels like something is ending, doesn't it? Do you think we'll win? Nothing is ending, Meryl. Things are a little tense, but it will pass. I hope we win. Barrick will make it a good story, I'm sure. A dragon attacked your mine. Everyone is dead. Dear Maker, what of my equipment? Did it seem salvageable? No. And neither did the workers who died trying to save it. <laughs> oh, my heart. So many years of investment. 
I am ruined. Ruined. I'm sorry, champion. I appreciate your help, but I sank all my coin into that rotten mine. I have nothing left to pay you. Give me the bone pit. Perhaps in a few years I can get it back in order. What? <laughs> Fine. Take it. I wash my hands of this cursed venture. The dragon attacked. Surely. I didn't get all of the upgrades for their armor, did I? Ooh, backpack. Isn't the champion? No, it isn't the champion. Mind your business, fool. Wait, what? What do we got? Sir Hulk. You were courageous to speak openly against the Knight Commander. I know. Your words did not fall on deaf ears. Are you sure? Several nobles are discussing, quietly, what to do about Meredith. You're gonna die! I cannot tarry here for risk of Templar spies. If you would make common cause with us, read this. I could use all the allies I can get. Secrecy is paramount. I'll communicate by messenger if the need arises. Make a look after you, Hawk, and our fragile endeavor. Several tasks completed to mobilize the nobles against Knight Commander Meredith. Locate the secret entrance to one of Knight Commander Meredith's hidden supply caches. Kill her hand-picked zealots who have been purging mage sympathizers in Lowtown. Okay. So, conspiracy? Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? <laughs> yes. It's customary. Very well. <laughs> what? That's it? I paid more for that for those blades. Bastard. Ooh. Pretty sunset. Why is it sunset? It wasn't sunset before. Oh, too many arrows. Okay. For real this time, I'm gonna do this quest. I promise. <laughs> now that I've killed the thieves that rolled through here. Ouch. The Awirgen Scrolls, third aspect. What's that got to do with anything? Burial. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I just wanted to know how your clan was doing. We are doing quite well, considering. It is our hope that one of our sister clans will give us some of their hallow by year's end. What? Greetings, champion. That is what they call- Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. I thought the point of hiding was not to be found. 
He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. Yeah. Strange. Why would the assassin want the Dalish to give away his location? Maybe because he's not really an assassin. Oh! No! I remember now. <laughs> Dalish crafting is second to none, I assure you. Ooh. Oh, dark spawn. Ten percent of mana. Wow, that's ridiculously reasonable. Chain lightning. Stone Fist and Tempest. Oh. Okay. Forgot to fix my abilities. <clears throat> The assassin wanted to. Okay. to give away his location. The real question would be, why are the Antivan crows looking for a Dalish assassin? Perhaps because a few years ago he betrayed the Antivan crows? <gasps> Spoiler alert! More bones. Why am I still getting upgrades? I missed a 
getting upgrades for Isabella if she's not part of my group anymore. Whoa, spiders! Oh, God! Maybe she's still gonna come back. Traps. You can't say our man wasn't prepared. Yeah. Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. Easy as pie. What the what? Oh. Okay. Why do you make me hurt you? Did I just get another Sylvanwood ring? <laughs> exactly like the one that I already gave to Meryl? Whatever. Barrack? Get out of the goop, you dumb, dumb. Now you, I wasn't expecting. Zevran! How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. <laughs> I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm a champion? Slayer of Canari, Deep Roads Explorer, and a beauty to make the gods jealous? You underestimate your fame. <laughs> I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, older men. Oh, and the guildmaster. <laughs> in fact, if you are a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> I thought he would be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? <laughs> He also said you were a wanted murderer. 
Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Bring me to Nuncio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. But you are a woman who can clearly handle herself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. <laughs> or you can take me to Nuncio. Which will it be, I wonder? <laughs> I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. <laughs> As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. God. What a funny, funny guy. Ooh. Crap. And ooh. Right? Zevran. Oh my gosh. 174. Okay. So. Magic resistance, physical damage, critical damage. Cunning, attack speed. What? You're wearing some weird crap, lady. That counts as an upgrade. Sure, wow. Ooh, Bartero. How does he have money? I mean, you're with me, right? Spiders, giant spiders, should not have cash. Who needs rescuing a murder of crows? I let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Oh, whatever. Ah, poor stupid Nancio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden, I will never guess. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. <laughs> you are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Ooh la la. <laughs> yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. Oh, snap. Wait, wait, wait. Don't just run off half cocked. To me when you're done. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to get my loot. Unlike the other freaking quests in this game. Oh, freight oh, rope. Like we'll just put this frayed piece of rope in a chest. Absolutely. Why is there so much space here? I 
and the road just goes on and on and mm. kick that rotten corpse over and take the money out of its back pocket. <sighs> What's up here? Oh. You know what? There was a cave I needed to go explore. By the Dalish camp. And I totally forgot. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. <laughs> I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. It is time to move on, as they say. I have a little war to wait back home, and so little time. Perhaps we'll meet again, champion. Champion. Items received, finesse. Overseer. And it's a dagger, of course. Alright, I'm gonna run back to the Dalish camp and hit that camp or er, cave real quick and then I'll get back to work. Back to questing. Although it is 3 30 in the morning, so I might have to call it a night soon. It's weird because it it said recently also opened passage in the second act. Now it's been three years, but it's still a recently opened passage. So I'm wondering if they added anything? Or... Oh, they did. Last time it was a golem. Oh my gosh. Road hammer. I'll have to see if that's any good for Fenris. Oh! 
Their attention. Was that a thing? It is. Nexus Golems wears. <clears throat> Woven elf hair? it was worth it. Nathaniel! Oh, let's go save the nobleman's daughter. Hold there! Who are you? <laughs> the name's Evitz. As in Evitz Marauders. The folk you killed a few years back. Now you're going to die for what you've done. Oh, snap. I'm chicken in my boots. That was just sad. <coughs> Is that it? Aveline, what's in your mirror? What do you mean? In your mirror? What do you see? A warrior? A wife? All the mistakes I made to get here and make it right. Why? What have you decided to see? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Cracks, mostly. <laughs> Maybe I'll borrow yours sometime. If that's all right. It's all right. <laughs> oh, she's so dippy and sweet. Mostly dippy. Yeah, I should probably read those, but... The frickin' wall of text. Ah, oh, the wounded coast. There better not be spiders down here again. Just saying. Oh, look! You there. Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? Either your father didn't give me the whole story, or I really, really hope you're talking about someone else. Fainriel, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. You could thank me instead? Are you serious? I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. Hey, what did you do to my man? I'll kill you till you're good and dead. I'll kill you till you're good and dead. How did he say it? The city needs a better class of criminal. <laughs> it seems I must wait a bit longer for my love. Oh, thank you for your aid. I will find my way back to Kirkwall. The walk will tire me, and we'll be reunited in my dreams. Fainriel, my love, I'm coming. Wow. What? <laughs> oh, it's a quest. A hidden lair has been added to the map. Follow to see what lies beneath. 
What? Bring the dragon's fire gland. I tried. Fenris. Anders. The last straw. That is bizarre. I don't remember that quest. Oh, sure, now the battery's dead. Just had to wait until I was done fucking with it. Hang on a second. So my next question is, did Fainreal actually intend, <clears throat> intend for her to fall in love with him? Or is she just one of those crazy fangirls that falls in love with the first guy that rescues her? Because that just seems a little weird either way. I spied you from afar in my dreams, and so I decided to invade your dreams, and now you'll love me. Absolutely. He was just hanging out there by the corpse. <laughs> I'm gonna wait here on the off chance that somebody will come by so I can attack him. More bones and a Kunari sword. And a chest and a crate. How the F do you get to the crate? Oh. Neat. I didn't know that was there. So apparently they're adding secret caves to the map. But it doesn't say which map. Just the map. <laughs> wow. Took care of that with a quickness. Hey, Gravedigger, how you doing? It's good to see you again. Hell 
suffered. I already went down there. Cool. And away we go. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed the first chapter a lot more than I've enjoyed these last two chapters. It's like they packed the entire game into the first act or whatever. And then said, screw it, we're done. Which is kind of lame. I mean, I know it was a lot of running around and stupid shit, but like all of the fun conversations between the characters as you're carrying them around. Like all of a sudden we got to the second chapter and nobody's having a good time anymore. And I don't approve. What? Is that a small wet pouch of sand? Did I read that right? <laughs> People put the weirdest things in their chests. Why do you want to lock that up? <laughs> That's okay. Hmm. Sorry. Oh, for Pete's sake. Who is it this time? Is it the Talvashoth? Where are they? Good grief. Oh, skeletons! Cute! How about you? You broke the fucking I just would not want to mess with us. Oh, I'm sorry. That's gotta be frustrating. Resisted. Oh, dirty poor. Have some lightning. There are so many skeletons rising out of the ground. Sheesh. New quest, Pride Unbound. Search for more scrolls and hidden lairs. That was one of the hidden lairs? I better put that on... What's her name before I forget? Immunity to flanking. Ooh, I don't know if I want to give that up. Hmm...
<laughs> Plus six nature damage. That would be better for you. Oh! By George, it does say hidden lair. <laughs> What do you know? Fell grenade. Well, see, now that makes me wonder. Where did I find that? Oh, whatever. I'll probably wander into it again here pretty soon. Since I check everything. Yes, this is one of the things that sucks about Dragon Age. You just go to the same maps over and over and over. Wow, he's still here? Not every coin is valued by weight. Some... Yeah, yeah. Carry where they be, like small whispers. Broken statuette. Corpse. Ow. Hmm. Embryum. Pile of bones. All right, let's go find Nathaniel. Vestments of sacrifice. Nathaniel Howe. You're the champion of Kirkwall, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Your handiwork here is much appreciated. How did you... Delilah. She figured things out then. Good. I should have spoken to you. The deep roads have proved to be quite dangerous. Your insight could have saved lives. Delilah says you followed my expedition's route. Why? You went further into the deep roads than anyone believed possible. The first warden himself ordered this investigation. I was offered a generous share of the salvage, plus extra coin up front to discourage any curiosity. Oh. It looks like you met heavy resistance. After the warden commander spared the architect, we thought the ensuing struggle among the Darkspawn might make the deep roads safer. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> the Warden's allies assured us these tunnels would still be mostly clear. But it seems they were wrong. Hmm. 
They seem to know a great deal about Darkspawn. Are these allies dwarves? No, not dwarves. It's complicated. Let's just say we live in strange times. Who is the architect? The architect was the first of the speaking and thinking Darkspawn. Very dangerous. He spread his gift to other Darkspawn. The Disciples. Fortunately, their numbers are few. I don't remember drawing anyone a map to the Tide. Who told you about it? An unfortunate dwarf named Bartrand. We weren't sure his information was reliable, but contacting you or Barrick was deemed risky. You trusted my turncoat of a brother, but thought talking to us was risky. That's idiotic. <laughs> we feared you might return if you learned of our interest in the Tig. We should bring your sister the good news. I cannot leave now. When we were attacked, I was separated from the rest of my expedition. Some of them may yet live. Probably not, though. We must go deeper into the tunnels to rescue them. Who else could be alive? Some wardens survived the initial ambush. I think the dwarf we brought from Vigil's Keep survived. But who still lives? Only the Maker knows. We have survivors to find. Let's go. Protecting the foolish from themselves. We should move. Stay alert for Darkspawn. Didn't let me get my loot! Ooh, oh, phew! <laughs> Where you guys at? Really don't want to fight these guys by myself. But I will if I have to. <laughs> Flawed Ruby. So much junk. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Master Howe, you live. Tamarin, good man. Are there any of the survivors? Hopefully, up ahead. Well met are strangers in the belly of the earth. I hope Sir Fenley won't mind, but I set up the explosives here and there. Figured I'd blow up as many of the spawn as I could before I embraced the stone. Corridors lined with explosives and darkspawn galore. It's not even my birthday. <laughs> Temerin, the way behind us is clear. Send word to the Wardens in case we don't make it. Aye. I've set explosives all along the tunnels. Blow up as many of the sodding spawn as you can. Luck to you both. <laughs> That'll never not be fun. <laughs> Sandal would approve. Boom. I fear we have come all this way for nothing. But my fallen comrades will be avenged. The Darkspawn are here.
First time since I've been down here. I don't sense a single darkspawn. We've won. The route to the surface should be safe now. Because of you, I will see my sister and nephew again. Please, take this with my blessing. I apologize I couldn't answer all your questions. You may have them yet in the fullness of time. Stay safe, Nathaniel. You as well. Bringer of Silence. One hundred percent of basic attack damage versus enemies that. Oh, I've already got that. Okay, well, it is four o'clock in the morning. I am going to log out and call it a night. Thanks for watching, and I hope everybody has a wonderful night.